We are here to recognize some very special athletes today and their amazing abilities um, in equestrian sports. And they recently attended the Special Olympics. And so Sheriff John Wilcher is going to recognize the ones that were able to attend today. We will still recognize everyone. A few were not able to attend. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and invite Sheriff Wilcher up to say a few words. Well, it's an honor to have y'all here, Miss Peggy. You know, ability to do things is what you want to do. You know, if you have a certain ability, you can still accomplish anything that you want to do, as long as you put your mind to it. So, again, my hat's off to y'all, ladies and gentlemen, who made good at the Olympics. You know, I'd love to go to the Olympics, but I probably couldn't make it there, and y'all did. So my hat's off to you, and congratulations to y'all. Thank y'all. Chief Deputy, if you'll join us, say a few words, please. Yeah. I'm very uh, honored, as the sheriff said also as well, very, very honored to take part in this, be a part of this. Um, it's very exciting. Um, it's very uh, uplifting, and it's uh, very uh, motivation, a lot of motivation for me. Um, I, I admire uh, the athletes and what you were able to accomplish and what you was able to do, and I also admire Miss Peggy um, for her commitment to helping y'all. Uh, reach your goals and be successful in your journey and in your competition and in uh, your strive to get better and develop. I think it's amazing. Um, I think Ms. G I think uh, Miss Peggy is amazing in what she does and, and the effort and the commitment that she puts forth in our community uh, for this. And uh, it just it's very 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 uplifting for me to be a part of this and, and see this and be able to share this with y'all. So thank y'all for allowing us, the sheriff and the Chatham County Sheriff's Office, to be able to share something like this so special. And thank you, Ms. Peggy, for allowing us to do it as well. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you, Chief Deputy Taylor. Again, Pegasus cannot say enough about what the support of the Sheriff's Department means to us. It takes quite a bit to get enough practice to go to the State Special Olympics which was held this year at the end of May, all the way up in Alpharetta, Georgia. We took eight Olympic riders, four horses, six volunteers, the whole family, all the tag, all the food. So it's like transporting a small army up there, and we came away with victory. Every child that went into the arena came out with a medal. So we were so proud, and because of COVID, we had not been able to have the Special Olympics for two years. So this was our first year back to competition. Today we have with us Stephen Coleman, who he, Stephen won a bronze and a silver medal. We have Catherine, she won a silver medal in her one performance. And then we have our uh, Brandon Gazette, and Brandon won a bronze and a gold medal, and that gold medal goes along with about half a dozen other gold medals that Brandon has won throughout the years. So thank you, Sheriff, for helping us get there. It'll be an annual event, and I can't tell you how much we appreciate you. Thank you. The first Olympian we'd like to recognize who not join us today is Sean Hussey. Milton Pond, Ethan Shrek, and Angel Navarrete, who unfortunately were Catherine. Sheriff would like to present you with your certificate. Thank you. Thank you. You're more than <laughs> and again, I get some Hey. <laughs> Stephen Coleman. Stephen, good. Good with you. Say thank you. Well, hold on, buddy. You got it, Stephen. Yeah. Hey, Stephen. Congratulations to Uh, on his birthday, you know, last, 
We want to present the sheriff with a thank you and a photograph of us up at the Special Olympics. So this is our Pegasus Special Olympic Equestrian Team, and thank you so much, Sheriff. We support a lot of different organizations in the community. Pegasus is one that we took under our wing. You know, these ladies and gentlemen may be special, but they are not any different than us, really, because they can do the things that we can't do sometimes, and they challenge their own self to become better. I kind of like the horses a lot. I take care of them and groom them. Um, clean their poop. <laughs> I like to ride her truck, her gold truck. I kind of like it. Um, even though I like all horses, I like Kusa because she has a one eye. <laughs> and Chili, I kind of miss her a lot. <laughs> and Bo, too. <laughs> He's very smart and kind of how did you like dressing up and doing a state competition? I love it. <laughs> it was fun and awesome. And I am very proud of myself. And also be thankful that I got gold and bronze and silver mm -hmm. and some place in first place at the Special Olympics. Did a great job. Yes. You proud mm -hmm. of your medals? Yes. Mm -hmm. You ready for next year? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell tell us what's going to happen next year. What do you do next year for next year? Win more medals. Win more medals. <laughs> Boy, once they started, the horses clicked, the children clicked. They feel the energy. It's absolutely wonderful. And the parents literally are crying when they see how well those children do. And obviously, you are an excellent coach. Every single athlete you took won a medal. So. Yes, sir. We're really proud of them, and we're really proud of the horses. The horses are just as competitive as the children. So we're really proud of our team. Nobody came away empty-handed. You know, I've played sports all my life, and I'd love to have a medal, and I never won one. My hat's <laughs> off to these guys and girls here.